Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today I have the great pleasure of introducing to you a new item pack uh, for Diablo 2 Resurrected. If you guys and gals out there are like me um, and you've used Hero Editor at any point, I don't know why I grabbed my boob, but uh, <laughs> if you've uh, used Hero Editor at any point, you have probably come across the King of Pins item pack. The Kingpin's item pack was last updated in, I believe it was like 2005. Uh, so it's pretty old, like like very old actually. And uh, and part of the issue with the Kingpin's item pack has always been just simply like ease of use. Um, it's missing so many different things. And granted, in Hero Editor, um, if you are savvy with Hero Editor, if you're smart with Hero Editor, you can create just about any item that you would ever want to create. And as a Diablo 2 YouTuber, um, I have spent a large amount of time uh, playing around with Hero Editor, um, opening uh, you know up new characters, uh, testing things out, especially with Diablo 2 Resurrected. Um, it's been very common for me to use Hero Editor specifically for testing purposes. Um, you know, load up a character with the items that I need to test with, um, maybe have a couple different variables that I'm testing, figure out whether or not those variables are correct or not, and, and you know, go from there. Um, like something that recently came up um, is a very interesting thing that's been tested um, is that poison damage um, does not proc while other damage effects are in motion. So like, for instance, if you are a poison Nova Necromancer um, and you are attacking a monster like say for instance diablo uh, maybe even uber diablo doesn't matter um and you apply you know lower resistance and you have skeletons and a mercenary and and a, and a golem and whatnot um if you prevent your army from attacking the monster the diablo um he will die faster than if you are letting your entire army attack it which is something that is completely um you know opposite of what you would think. Um, and this is the kind of stuff that you would test with Hero Editor. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over with you my new Hero Editor item pack, uh, which hopefully will help all of you guys uh, and gals out there in the in the Diablo 2 or Diablo 2 Resurrected universe um, have a little bit easier time when it comes to, um, you know, just simply utilizing Hero Editor to its, uh, you know, its utmost ability. And uh, let me bring up my item pack real quick for you guys, so you guys can see what it is that I'm talking about. I apologize for the uh, ever so <laughs> bright uh, white background, but there's really not much I can do about it. Um, but the best I can do for you all is just simply um, bring this in a little bit so it's not covering up the entire screen. And uh, I mean, it's not that's not too bad. Uh, so basically with GGM's item pack, this is my new item pack, uh, when you come in here, what you're going to notice is quite a few uh, folders. Uh, first off, we have the uh, old f character files. Uh, these are Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction character files. There are cheated, skilled, and unskilled characters. They're pretty generic. Uh, the cheated characters obviously are very... <laughs> are very cheated. Um, also, I'm including my Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction offline characters, so you have all of my offline characters here. Um, I have basically a character for every single set and also all the uniques, um, as well as my testing characters. So like for instance, uh, when I made um, Sanic to Hooge Hag. Uh, Sanic to Hooge Hag is one of my testing characters to figure out just how fast you could make a character run, um, either legitimately or illegitimately, and I think eventually it was illegitimate, but that would be the character file. And you could, of course, copy that over to your computer, and you could uh, you could load that into your game. Um, then I also have my Diablo 2 resurrected character files. These are not editable, um, so you're not going to actually be able to edit these... Um, in the hero editor, but you can load these into Diablo 2 Resurrected. These are the, these are the ones that I actually uh, utilize in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Uh, we also have a miscellaneous file here, um, which is full of charms. We got crafted items. Um, we have uh, gems, jewels, magic items, miscellaneous, which is things like uh, potions, oil potions, rancid gas potions. Um, there are also uh, quest items which existed in the Kingpin's pack. In fact, you'll notice that a lot of this stuff um, did exist in the Kingpin's item pack. and it, So it's not necessarily creating an entirely new pack, 
But what it is doing is it's allowing me to make things a little bit easier for you. Uh, so how can I make things easier for you? Let's uh, let's go over that, shall we? So when you go back to the um, the base folder, you're going to notice that I have a um, a category here called rune words. Um, the rune words category is just chocked full of every single rune word in the game. This was not the case in the Kingpin's item pack. Um, you had to create every single rune word. Um, I've also added the new rune words to the list as well. So um, if you take a look into, like for instance, the weapons, and you go down to say something like Unbending Will, here I have Unbending Will in several different forms. Um, Infinity um, is definitely one of those that uh, has new forms. So for instance, when you go in here, you'll notice that I have a Matriarchical Pike, a Matriarchical Spear, I also have a man catcher, which is not something that was possible before in Diablo 2. Um, and I even have a war scythe for you uh, sorceresses out there who want to utilize the, you know, the, the uh, infinity on your character. You know, you don't want to have to have a really high tier base. Um, just in general, like a lot of these things could have been done inside of Hero Editor. And I'm not necessarily saying that, you know, Kingpin's item pack was a bad item pack. It just caused you to have to do a lot of work, like a lot, a lot of work. And so basically what I've done is I've taken away a lot of that work. So if you want to pull up something stupid like a strength um, battle sword, well, there you go. I've got you. You want a, a strength rune sword F? Well, I've got you. Uh, I've got bases in here for things that you might not otherwise even think of. Uh, like I have three different obsession bases, a fire, ice, and a lightning, uh, which you could, of course, modify to your own specific wishes. Um, I've also included uh, several white bases. So we've got um, like skeleton clay golem golem mastery. Uh, we've got skeleton uh, skeleton mastery revive and so forth and so on. And uh, and this allows you to you know just simply pull something in quickly as opposed to having to spend a really long period of time you know editing and uh, and trying to get everything right. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, not only that, but there were a lot of items missing from Kingpin's item pack. Um, so in the uniques, um, there were a huge number of items that were just not there. Um, when it came to wands, for instance, uh, pretty much none of the wands were actually on the list. Um, just about the only wands that were in the list was things like Death's Web and Arm of King Leoric. Those were like the only two wands that were actually in here. Um, most of the um, elite or rather, most of the unique bows, like Amazon-only bows, were missing. Uh, most of the Am the assassin claws were missing. Um, also, quite a few of the unique items were actually um, broken or old versions, which I had to update so you can have fun with it. Um, but as you can see here, I have ethereal versions of just about every item. Um, this is another way that I'm trying to make things a little bit easy for everybody. Um, you can obviously, in Hero Editor, import an item, right-click, make it ethereal. Um, but especially with armors, the defense doesn't calculate. You have to go in and you have to manually calculate the defense and it's a waste of your time. So I spent a little bit of time, uh, well, a lot of time actually, uh, many, many hours of time to create uh, ethereal versions of basically every single item, uh, unique item in the game um, so that you can just simply pull them in uh, very quickly and create what you would like to create. So, you know, if you wanted, for instance, an ethereal uh, durial shell, um, I've got you. There's your ethereal durial shell right there. You just pull that in through a hero editor and it's already set up. It already has the correct defense and everything. Um, another way that I've uh, made things a little bit easier is I have uh, given more options for the, the rune words just in general, um, as well as more bases for you to create with. So the Kingpin's item pack actually didn't have any bases whatsoever. And there were some item packs out there that did have bases. But one of the big issues with the all the packs was they just didn't really have everything. So if you wanted something very specific, like maybe you wanted a uh, elite assassin's claw and it had to be a ethereal war fist well there you go now you have an ethereal war fist right there that you can load in and create an item with um, so even if i don't necessarily have the 
rune word in the correct base that you would want. Like, say, for instance, you pull up the helmets and you pull up a flickering flame. And here we go. I've got multiple choices here, but I've got the destroyer helm. You don't want the destroyer helm. You want, you know, a different barbarian helmet. Well, I've got you because if you go and you check in my socketed whites and bases, um, you will find the barbarian helmets. And, uh, and when you find the Barbarian class helmets, I've got all the class helmets here. So you can pick and choose exactly which one you want. Even if it's just appearance, you can choose the Guardian crown, you can choose the Conqueror crown, etc. And this is save yourself a little bit of time so that you can get what you want quicker. Um, as far as customizing uh, class items go, there is a near infinite amount of possibilities and it's not something that i uh i don't think anyone in the world has time for uh to make a near infinite number of possibilities um, so instead i have a text file here which is actually instructions on how to customize the wands specifically to what you would like so for instance if you want to use an elite uh you know, uh, unearthed wand, uh, you load that in. And if you follow the instructions within the Necro wand custom file, you will find that I have basically uh, shown you exactly how to make the wand exactly what you would want. So you can customize it with, you know, plus three skeleton. You can put, you know, plus three bone spirit on there. You can put, uh, you know, plus three poison nova, whatever specifically that you want on the wand, whatever skills. You can replicate maybe a wand that you have on your online character, which is also something that's very common, basically replicating an online character to offline for testing purposes. So that you can tweak things here or there and see how things go before you, uh, you know, make those changes permanent on your online character. Um, I also have a lot of silly things in here like sorceress orbs, which <laughs> um, I know that sorceress orbs can't really be used for rune words, but they're all here. Um, we also have all the druid pelts, including some rare and magical druid pelts. Um, just in general, you'll notice that the pack is trying to be as complete as humanly possible. Uh, we also have a very interesting thing here, which is ethereal sets. Um, I wanted to play around with the idea of ethereal sets. And basically what I did was is I um, added them in. Blizzard has been doing some very interesting things with... Diablo 2.4, 2.43, and who knows what is on the horizon in 2.5. So I wanted to kind of like cover all my bases and essentially give everybody a ability to kind of have like a, you know, an ethereal set ready just in case Diablo at some point makes it so that sets could potentially drop as ethereal. I think that's actually a really cool option too. And I, and, and I don't really see it as being like too overpowered. It could potentially make some of the sets more viable, um, but also some of the sets less viable uh, because there's a lot of gloves, there's a lot of boots, there's a lot of items like belts that uh, you don't necessarily want to be ethereal. So it could be a double-edged sword, in my opinion, uh, both, you know, for and against. Um, now, where do you get this pack? Well, the answer to where you get this pack is in the description. Um, in the description of this video, down at the bottom, um, you will see a link to my Google Drive, and uh, it is downloaded as a zip file. Um, also inside of here, uh, inside of the zip file is another zip file of the hero editor program. So if you don't have the hero editor program, I have that for you right here. Um, there are also links to all of my YouTube videos, just in case you want to, uh, you know, learn about a particular set or something. Um, like for instance, if you were to go into elite, uh, Griswold's legacy, uh, here's a link right here, which will take you to my Griswold's legacy video. Um, kind of, uh, just give you a little bit of more information on the set. Uh, maybe you're not exactly sure what it could be good for. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to theorize and they like to create characters, um, not necessarily like from what people tell them, but just simply, you know, they're trying to figure things out on their own. And, uh, and that's how most of my videos are formulated. I don't tell you what to do. I just tell you what the set and what the item is good for, and you guys can figure out the rest. Um, there's really not a lot more to go over with the, uh, the set, um, the, the item pack. I think you will find that the item pack is a lot more complete and a lot more useful, um, than the Kingpin's pack of old, even some of the other packs that had been floating around like the Diablo 2.net. I've actually taken, um, all of those packs and combined them into this one as well as created, uh, 
many, many new items um, and new files uh, for this particular version. Um, another fix that I made from the Kingpin's item pack is the torches. So the torches were originally um, version 1.11 torches, which have a 25% chance to cast Hellfire. Um, I have corrected the 1.11 torches by making them into uh, 1.14 torches, which are 5% chance to cast Hellfire. Um, this is something that um, has been plaguing me for a long time because every time I load in a torch, I forget that it's the 1.11. And then by then I'm already in the game testing things. Um, we also have all the 1.08 items here. These were actually in um, the Kingpin's item pack, by the way. So uh, not anything really new there, but they are all available for you to upload if you want to play around with the old Arcane's Valor, the Bull Cathos Wedding Band, and so forth and so on. Um, now keep in mind that you do have to, with Hero Editor, you have to use the original character files, and you can either, you know, have Diablo 2 and create those character files yourself, or you can use the character files that are inside the the program. Uh, like I said, all of my character files are here. You could use mine. Um, there are also some D D Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction character files here that you can utilize. Um, and on top of that, we also have um, my Diablo 2 resurrected um, ones that you could copy in. Um, if you don't want to use Hero Editor at all, um, I do have basically every single set. As you can see, I've got Angelic, Arcanas, I've got uh, Berserker's set, I've got uh, Sivirbs, Clegg Laws, you know, they, basically every single set is inside of these files, and you could just simply copy this save file into your directory and uh, do it that way. Um, if you've never figured out where the save directory is for your particular um, game, uh, let me show you that really quickly um, since I am talking about the item packs and stuff. I uh, might as well give you guys an idea of, you know, where to actually look. Uh, and uh, that would be right here. All right. Um, so I know it's a little bright. Shield your eyes, your sensitive ones. Um, as you can see right here, we have my uh, save file location. So this is uh, my C users Daniel saved games of Diablo 2. Um, and if you go back to saved games, you'll notice that I have Diablo 2, Diablo 2 Resurrected, Diablo 2 Resurrected multiplayer beta, because I took place in the dark part in the beta, and also the, the PTR. So what you're going to do is you're going to edit the files um, when they're in the Diablo 2 directory. Uh, you're going to copy them. Like, for instance, if I had the Angelic set or the Arctic Gear, I could copy the Arctic Gear set. Um, I would take it, put it into the Diablo 2 Resurrected, paste it, and uh, replace the files. And uh, as soon as I do that, the old files are in here. It's important to note that you can't do this while Diablo 2 Resurrected is running. So Diablo 2 Resurrected does have to be closed for you to perform this action uh, because when you open it, it converts the files. So while it's open, it's not going to convert the files, but after you close it and then reopen it, it will go look in the directory and it goes, okay, here's a new file. This file is Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction converting to Diablo 2 Resurrected. It converts the file just like that, and then when you load up, your character will be there for you. Um, I don't really think there's anything more to go over with this pack. Uh, do check in the description and um, download away. Uh, feel free to share this uh, file on as many websites as you'd like. I'd, I actually would rather prefer uh, this pack take place or take precedence over the Kingpin's pack because uh, the Kingpin's pack was last updated in 2005. And uh, we are now in 2022. Uh, we definitely need a new pack. We need new files. We need uh, we need the new rune words. And uh, this is something that I do plan to keep updated as well. So keep that in mind. Um, as we go forward through the future, um, and they include new rune words in 2.5 or 2.6 or whatever version they end up including new rune words in, I will be including those in the pack as well with a, uh, a, a future upload. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos and... Uh, Keep watching.